Okay, in today's lesson, we're lesson 2.4 on page 77. Our lesson is using bar graphs. And our essential question, how can you read and interpret data in a bar graph? All right, unlock the problem. A bar graph uses bars to show data. Imagine that, bar graph using bars. A scale of equally spaced numbers helps you read the number each bar shows. So underline the words that tell you where to find the information to answer the questions. To answer the question. The students in the reading group made a bar graph to record the number of books they read in October. How many books did Seth read? So we're going to be looking at the bar graph to find the answer to our question. So what are the parts of a bar graph? It's very similar to a picture graph in that we have a title at the top, books read in October. The title tells what the bar graph is about. Each bar is labeled with a student's name in this problem. So what's being counted? Okay, so we have to have a label for each of the bar says being counted. And we have a label that says what those things are. Okay, so students here. And then the length of a bar tells how many books each student read. So we see the purple, blue, green, red. Okay, and it says the scale is 0 to 16 counting by twos. So the so each gap is worth two. Find the bar for Seth. It ends at eight. So Seth read eight books in October. Not very difficult. How many books did Max read? So we find Max. And we'll go down where the end of his bar ends. And we see that it is six. Who read four fewer books than Kate? So we find Kate, and we see that she read 12. 12 take away four is eight. So who read eight books? We know that Seth read eight books. What if Amy read five more books? So Amy right now is in between eight and 10. The number that's in between 8 and 10 is 9. Okay, so what if she read 5 more books? She would now have 14. Shade the graph to show how many she read. How many books? Okay, so shade in 5 more. So the bar would end at 14 now. Okay. So how many books did she read? 14 books. Okay, because all we did was add nine to a uh, five to what she already had read. All right, so now let's go to page 78. These bar graphs show the same data. Favorite winter activity, favorite winter activity. Number of students, number of students. Activity, activity. And it says ice skating, skiing, sledding, hockey, hockey, ice skating, skiing, sledding, hockey. So it's the same information. It's just oriented differently. And so we call this graph on the left a horizontal bar graph, where the bars go across left to right. And the length of the bar shows the number of each activity. A vertical bar graph, the bars go up from the bottom. And the height tells you the number. What does each space between two numbers represent? Well, look here, we're going 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. It's counting by four. So four students would be our count. Why do you think the scale in the graphs is 0 to 28 by fours instead of 0 to 28 by ones? Well, let's, let's think about that. Right now, we're, we have a scale of four, but what if each of these lines was one? So we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm only at a seven, and I gotta go all the way up to 28. So it may not fit on the page. It 
we have to count by ones. What other scale could we use? Well, 28 is an even number, so we know 2 will Two will become, you can go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and get there. So 0 to 28 by 2s. And that's, that's still not very, that's not the greatest choice because that's still going to be um, twice twice as long as my current bar graph. So four does make a, the best the most sense. All right, share and show. Use the favorite way to exercise bar graph for numbers one through through three. So we have a title, favorite way to exercise. That tells us what the graph is about. We have biking, walking, soccer, and karate. Those are the activities being counted. And we have a it goes 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So it goes from 0 to 16 by 2s. Okay, 0 to 16 by 2. So our scale or interval is 2. Which activity did the most students choose? Well, that's simply you just look at which one's the longest. How many students answered the survey? Survey is something where... You Somebody asks you a question, in this case it's, what's your favorite way to exercise? And this person being surveyed would give you their favorite answer. So survey is just a way of um, determining somebody's interest in things. So biking, we go down the list and we see that biking is seven. Walking, we see is six. Soccer is 14. And karate, is 10. Okay, so now we're going to add these together. I see that 16 and uh, 6 and 14 is 20, and 10 and 7 is 17. 20 and 17 is 37. Which activity received seven fewer votes than soccer? So you go to soccer, 14. Seven fewer votes. So minus seven. Fourteen take away seven is seven. So we've got to find the one that is seven. So seven would be in between six and eight. Which one is in between six and eight? Biking. All right. <clears throat> Over here on the math talk, it says, what can you tell just by comparing the lengths of the bars in the graph? Well, I can tell which one was the least favorite, walking. I can tell which one was the favorite, soccer. Um, so basically, just by looking at the lengths, you can tell the order of which events or activities were the, their favorites. Okay, page 79. Use the favorite kind of book bar graph for numbers 4 through 8. So the title of our bar graph is favorite kind of book. Our number of students is 0, 5, 10, 15. So from 0 to 40, counting by fives. And we have two, four, five different books that were chosen. Space books, animal books, nature books, puzzle books, and sports books. And we noticed that right now, sports was the, the favorite kind of book that was chosen. Which kind of book was chosen by half? The number of students has books about animals. Half. So find animals. We see that as 30. What's half as tall as the animals? Fifteen. Space. Half of 30 is 15. Which two books combined were chosen as often as books about sports? So sports, I know this was chosen 35 times. So i got to find two books that when added together give me 35. Well, adding 15 plus something is 
sounds reasonable because I want it the one to end in 5. So 15 plus what is 35? 5 plus nothing, 1 plus 2. So I'm looking for 20. Is there a book that has 20? Yes. Puzzles. Puzzles. And space. Write and solve a problem that matches the data in the graph. Um, so, <clears throat> this kind of book was chosen 20 fewer times than animals. Which book? book is the correct book for that information and so in this case I can 20 fewer times than animals animals was 30 subtract 20 I need to find something that has 10 we'll cross 10 and nature what if 10 more students were asked and they chose books about animals describe what the bar graph would look like so 10 more students Chose animals. So animals would increase to 40, right? And it would now be the favorite kind of book. because it's longer than sports. For numbers 8A through 8D, select true or false for each statement. More students chose books about sports than any other kind of book. Okay, now, these questions refer to the table before we shaded in the animal. So this is not there. So when we're referring to these questions, the animals is 30, space is 15, Nature is 10, puzzles is 20, and sports is 35. So did more students choose books about sports than any other kind of book? Yes, that's true. Five more students chose books about puzzles than books about space. Space was 15, puzzles was 20. Is that a difference of five? Yes. 30 more students chose books about animals than books about nature. Nature was 10. Animals was 30. 30 take away 10 is 20. So no. 15 fewer students chose books about puzzles than books about sports. Sports was 35. Puzzles is 20. We subtract that, we get a difference of 15. So that is also true. Okay, so that's it for today's. But now to go to page 80. Sorry. So on page 80, We're going to critique this problem and sense or nonsense. So the table shows data about some students' favorite amusement park rides. Four students graph the data. Which student's bar graph makes sense? Okay, so we have favorite amusement ride. There are four different types of rides, and these are the number of students that chose each of those rides. 
the roller coaster should be the longest bar. So let's see, roller coaster longest. So this one right here, right off, immediately just looking at the length of the bars, that can't be right. The roller coaster is not the longest on his bar. This one could be right. Roller coasters is the longest. This one could be right. Tyler does has the longest, and so does Kate. So we eliminated one just by looking at the length of the ones. Now let's see. The shortest one should be super slide. Super slide is the shortest in this one. It's the shortest in this one, and it's the shortest in this one. Okay, so we didn't eliminate any, anything. Okay, so now let's look at the actual number. So super slide is 11. So 11 would be close to the 12, uh, to the left of the 12. So this one can't be right because the super, super slide is in the wrong spot. Super slide 11. Let's see if it's 11 in this one. 11 is in between 10 and 12. So that's right. So that could be. And it is also right here. So we can't eliminate those. Now let's look at Ferris wheel 14. Ferris wheel 14. No, on theirs, on Tyler's, he's got Ferris wheel as being 18. So that can't be right. Kate's got the Ferris wheel as 14. So the super slide's right. The Ferris wheel's right. Let's check the bumper card. 18? Yes. Roller coaster? Yes. So Kate's. Four students, which student's bar graph makes sense? Kate's makes sense. Explain why the other bar graph do not make sense. Okay, so let's just Spencer. Alicia and Tyler so at least one of the rise was recorded incorrectly on those three rides. Okay, so that is it for lesson 2.4. You'll do the online practice for this lesson uh, in Go Math online. If you have any questions, you can stop and ask me. If you, um, you can also use the video that we you just watched and also definitely use your math book to help. Um, have you leave your math book out as you're doing the online work because the problem is going to be very similar. Okay. All right, so tomorrow we'll work on making bar graphs. So that's it for today.